Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist and uh, this video uh, just going through uh, my carrion beetles and uh, just showing you what I have. Alright, so I've finished uh, labeling and identifying all my carrion beetles in my collection. Um, so I got these right here and then uh, these right here. So I'm going to start over here. And, uh, got a Heterosopha ramosa and these three unit trays here. These were actually all caught in pitfall trap samples. So that is why there are so many specimens. And actually a lot of, uh, a majority of my specimens of uh, sylphidae are from pitfall trap samples. So these, they, um, these are from pit tra pitfall traps up in the foothills in the Rockies. Um, and this was the most common uh, carrion beetle that I collected in those traps. Nothing really too showy about them. They're just a black. This is what happens actually I'm going to talk about the pitfall traps more when I go to some of the other uh, trees. Here are three more species here. This is a pretty common species. I've collected from both Wisconsin and Colorado. species there. Necrophila americana. All these specimens are from Wisconsin. Yep, all from Wisconsin. These are, these, uh, this species is probably the most common um, carrying beetle I find here in the northern Midwest, Minnesota, Wisconsin area. I find these ones on pretty much any dead animal. And a lot of times I find them just walking down the road, they're flying, crawling on the roads and stuff. So I find them pretty often. So those are kind of like the more dull colored ones. Then all the specimens over here are in the genus Necrophorus. And almost all of these um, say for maybe four or five specimens maybe the rest of them are from pitfall traps as well. And uh I have uh, five unit trays here, all of the same species. Um, Necrophorus marginatus. These are from, if you uh, recall, I did videos doing pitfall traps out in the Pawnee grasslands in Northern Colorado. And this was the most common um, Necrophorus species I collected out there over three months of pitfall traps. Now, when you do pitfall traps, that's kind of, it's about to get, you get one or two of the most common beetles in every sample, you get a lot of them. But at the same time, you get other species. So, 
from the pitfall traps last year in the Pawnee Grasslands, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. I got seven species of Necrophorus uh, in those pitfall traps. So, even though you might get a really uh, absurd amount of specimens for one or two species, pitfall traps do allow you to catch other species that you probably won't catch um, near as often in the same location. So the fact that I got seven species of necrophorus in just one area, yeah, I think is pretty pretty cool. So. Those are the advantages and disadvantages of using pitfall traps. But I don't waste specimens if I can help it. Plus I like Necrophorus, so they're going in the collection. So I got all those. And uh, Tomentosis, Postulatus, Cachula. This is the second most common species I collected in the pitfall traps. Obviously not as much as Marginatus. Um, got Investigator, Carolina, Orbicolis, then Diphodians. I actually got in the pitfall traps that I got the Ramosa carrion beetles from out in the foothills. And then uh, Obscurus. So, all in all, I got the two very common species in the pitfall traps for Sylphidae in northern Colorado. Um, and then, smaller amount of specimens for different species. So, I'm actually really happy with my the amount of uh, microforest species I have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine species of microforest in my collection so far, which is not too bad. I can't recall off the top of my head how many microforests are this present in the U.S. I, can't, I guess I can just Google it here real quick. Um, let's see. So, 15 species in North America, with 70 total worldwide, it looks like. So I have 9 of the 15 species found in North America in my collection. Um, hopefully I can get 14 of them. One of them is uh, an endangered protected species, the American carrying beetle. Um, so I, I'm not able to get that one in my collection, but the other 14, I believe I can, I can uh, get eventually in here. So yeah, really happy. I got the carrying beetles done. Now it's uh, just going to start working on random beetles. I'll um, probably do some blister beetles and ask, uh, net, bist, uh, blister beetles, um, soldier beetles, and some flower beetles, probably. I don't know. I'm just going to work, work my way through some random beetles now. And uh, just up you, update you guys as I go along. Um, yeah. So, just a... Uh, quick overview of my carrying beetles. Hope you enjoyed um, the results of pitfall traps. So that's how it is. So comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.